My fellas, my fellas, my fellas. It's me, you know what I mean, the self-proclaimed leader of men. Coming with a little, drop a little bit more game on y'all, man. Here to, here to sprinkle y'all, season y'all with a little bit more of this. A little bit of this game, you know what I'm saying? I ain't putting no paint where it ain't, you know, I'm just being, you know, spitting straight facts. Long range LRPs, gamingly speaking. For those of you who gamed up, that's pride yourself on being shy. You know what I mean? Um, you got to stop overvaluing these women. Okay? You got to stop overvaluing women. And you got to understand that majority of these women ain't worth your time. Majority of the even the experiences of hanging out with women don't be worth your time. Don't put them before your money. Don't put them before your goals and your ambition. Don't put them before your kids. Don't even put them before your relaxation time, man. Because the thing is, majority of them ain't worth it. Stop valuing women based on looks. Stop, stop valuing women based on physicality. Value women based on how they overall make you feel. No woman is being completely submissive. They don't even make women to be submissive, but pride them on how much you don't argument. Pride them on how much they don't go against what you say. Look at that like a plus. I heard cute, I heard Toxic, Toxic, I mean, uh, I forgot to call her Toxic B. Toxic B, I heard Cardi B say that he love a Toxic chick. No, he don't. No, we don't. And see, the thing is, a lot of men is going hard on women, but the thing is, don't go, don't be mad at women. It's not this new, this new awakening of men that don't like women. It's just that a lot of these men been entertaining women. 99.9% .9 of these women just ain't worth your time. Once you get to a certain level spiritually, physically, and mentally, you kind of overqualify for a majority of these women out here. And the most fucked up craziest part about it is you'll think, man, all these women just ain't right. All these women just fucked up today's society. I, I've even been victim of thinking that. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, a lot of women just ain't worth your time, bro. You know, you gotta learn to know that these some of them just rentals, man. Some of them some of them is just your turn, man. You know what I'm saying? The right woman that really wanna be in the presence of your masculinity and take your um your knowledge and your tutelage and grow with you and work with you, it's not a lot of them, but when you find one, hold on to them, man. A lot of y'all just didn't spend, you know, I, 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 can, I can say to myself, you know, you didn't spend time in relationships back to back. You didn't have back to back to back bad relationships. But, you know, it's a possibility that you didn't been in four relationships in a row and every single one of them women wasn't the right ones for you. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't saying getting no woman that's flimsy minded, a woman that's a, a rock with hair, or, you know what I'm saying? A woman with the personality of a box of rocks, but I'm saying, you know, a lot of women is trained to go against you. A lot of these women is naturally trained to go at whatever your dreams is and to, to belittle you and not be with your message. A lot of women is trained to like talk over you and just go at you. A real man that you really respect, you're not even gonna second guess him, you know? And they think that's being weak. They think that's being a, oh, he want a ditzy bride. Oh, he want a, a bride to do anything you say. No, he don't. I kick it with my friends. When you see me with my homeboys, we don't argue as much. If I say to my homeboy, say, man, I got this idea about Woody Woo Woo Woo. What you think, Woody Woo? My homeboy not going to, unless it's a bitch ass nigga. You know, it's a lot of bitch ass niggas out here too. But your homeboy not for the second guess everything you say. Well, no, I heard what you said, but I thought I, I talked to this. Uh, you know, but it's a lot of bitch ass niggas out here too. But people that really fuck with you going to go with the grind and go with the groove of what you do, man. A lot of these niggas is out here fighting to, fighting to keep women, man. Fight to keep your sanity. Fight to keep your integrity, man. And stop valuing women on looks. Stop valuing women on how much other people want them. Stop valuing women on how much attitude and how hard they is to get, man. It's a lot of simps out here. Simps is taking over, bro. Simps is taking... Simps and testosterone-filled women are taking over, it's ruining the dating game. It's ruining men and masculinity. See, me, myself, man, I'm going to die with this masculinity, bro. I'll never, ever put a woman before my masculinity, my thought process. Like I say, once you done groomed your mind, you know when you done been through enough. As a man, you know when you're, you know, you know, you keep telling yourself, man, I'm a good dude. 
you know, I don't mean no harm. Man, that shit don't mean... I actually heard a woman tell me being a good dude don't mean nothing to her. So what that tell you, man? Be a good dude to yourself. Respect who respect you. Love who love you. And once again, stop overvaluing physicality of women. Have you ever met a woman that bucket everything you say, got a bad attitude, just rude, burp, fart? Because she ain't never even been in a position to try to impress a man, bro. A lot of these women ain't, don't even know what it's like to say, okay, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to be a lady. I'm going to try to get this man to like me. A lot of women don't even know what it's like to try to get a man to like them. They just know I look good. All these niggas be on me. That's all they know, bro. You know, even the ones that you think, even the ones that you think is humble and not even thinking like that, they all to a certain degree think like that, man. To a certain degree, they all kind of think like that. I'm not saying that this, none of this to scare you. I'm just letting y'all know, man. Dude, stop being hard on yourself. Stop being miserable, man. And be alone for the ride. You know? You know you know if you with a woman and she just along for the ride and you along for the ride, man. Stop overvaluing women. Stop overvaluing even being in, in, in a relationship. Stop overvaluing all of that shit. I just got out the weight room, so I'm a little... You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of myself. I feel like I look good. I look great. The Lord is, is in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And I'm busting all the right moves, man. So bless yourself with a woman that see you as a blessing. Or bless yourself with yourself, with yourself feeling good and your thoughts always on the up and up, man. If a woman can't bless you with her presence, bless yourself with your own presence. And that's all I got to say to y'all young men.